I'm, I'm ready to fight. You know, I'm not really going to do that much talk. You know, this guy over here can talk and say all kinds of bullshit, playing a little mental issue bullshit. His car. That was the case. I got shot. The doctor told me I was never going to walk again. And I'm still here fighting, so I don't play none of them excuses bullshit. Come, come that night, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. He's going to see who a real fucking puncher is. That's all I got to say. Wow. And, 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 and if you could, can you tell us the contracted weight uh, for the fight? It's at 163 because um, this guy had to make up excuses that he couldn't make the weight. So he was going through some hard times, I guess. So he can't make the weight. So we have to go to 63. So you ask him about that. All right. Well, let's Boy's talk not about disciplined. Boy's not disciplined. So it is what it is. Let's talk about the gentleman you're talking about, your opponent. He is the WBC middleweight champion of the world. Makes his long-awaited return to the ring two and a half years. He's been away. He is unbeaten. 22 of his 32 wins have come by knockout. Of course, he and his twin brother, they certainly made history. They became the first twins to become world champions in the same weight division. He's known as the Hitman. Future of boxing. He's a two-weight division world champion. Current WBC middleweight champion of the world. Jamal Charlo. Charlo, if you could, same thing. Give us just a sense of what, how training has been going, uh, obviously, for this fight, and then your thoughts on stepping in the ring against Jose Benavidez Jr. Um, I'm thanking God for this, you know, second chance is an extra opportunity uh, to show my greatness. Um, training camp has been awesome. Uh, I've been training for a while now. I'm ready to go. Uh, Benavidez, uh, Jose Benavidez, great fighter. Got nothing bad to say about you. You'll see when we get in there. You know what I mean? You're going to have to make the adjustments. Keep running your mouth, mister. You'll see when we get in there. You've been training for a while. But why don't you want to fight at 160 then? There's no discipline there, is there? Okay. You're already scared. Why are you sweating for? You're already scared of I fight at once. I'm the champ at 160. Exactly. So why aren't you fighting at 160? Why'd you might want to make a catch? I fight at 160. You, you, you yeah. can't make weight. I don't got nothing to do with that. Okay. No, I'm good. Okay. I could have. I could have made fight at whatever I wanted it to be at. You need yeah, to fight. Exactly. Me. But you chose to fight, you. fight at 163 for now, to, and you, to you want to defend your title. What happened with that? Me. You I'll doing me? Uh, I'm gonna fight right. you. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, I'm gonna so, beat you. You already look You already scared. Why are you sweating for? You already sweating. Sweating, Fucking boy. I ain't sweating you at all. Listen, I, I, I think that I think this funny? fight. Hey, yo, this, this shit gonna be crazy. Why? It is. I want it's gonna be funny hey, when I whoop your ass. That's what's gonna be. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Oh, trust me, I always do. I always do. Ask anyone. I always do. Right. Well, let's hold up, guys. Let's keep this same energy. I ain't one of the fighters. I ain't one of the fighters you gonna like try to choke at the weigh ins or some shit like that. Hey, oh, none of the bullshit. I, I, you know what? Good thing I'm you said that because then you're going to try to fucking pull some bullshit ass. Nah, we're going to beat the shit out you, your daddy, you your mommy, your whole town. Shut up. You're going to Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's get into this fight. Your wife, all hold, kind of shit. I love it. Jose, let me start with you. Let me start with you. Everybody, everybody. Let, let me start. Hold on, hold on, Maul. Let me let me start with Jose, and I'll get, I'll get right back to you. Jose, let me let me start with you. You know, you got a good opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to whoop your ass. That's all I got to say. I'm going to whoop your ass. And I'm, I'm giving you an opportunity. Oh. I'm giving you the so opportunity. What you asked for? You need to be thankful. Be I'm grateful. thankful. God, I'm thankful to my family. I'm thankful. Sure enough, thank you. Yeah, you be grateful. Show be, time be, to be grateful. Yeah, yeah, be grateful, bro. All right, here we go. Let's talk about the fight. Uh, Jose, listen, activity, and you know this, in this sport means a lot. And you have been active. Do you believe... That's one of your biggest advantages going into this fight against Charlo, even though he may have been campaigning at a higher weight than you've been accustomed to. But you know, uh, you've been I, certainly been the more active guy. Yeah, you know, I've I've actually fought at 160 a few times before. I mean, I walk around at 180, you know, 180, 190. It was 47 was just hard to make. You know, it was hard to make. I felt drained. Moved up to 54, thought I was gonna be better. It was just still the when I fought Danny Garcia the week of the fight I was at seventy five I had to lose twenty pounds so it was tough you know but now I feel you know I don't really gotta lose much feel strong you know I'm ready I'm 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 ready to get this show on the road you know and um you know he said you know I gotta be thankful you know I thank you thank you for 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 choosing me to fight you know I appreciate that and you're right about that 
And I, th and I thank you guys, you know. Thank you guys. It's going to be a, a, a fantastic night of boxing. He's training hard. I'm training hard. And it's going to be a great show. You know, you, you've, you've, uh, in, in your, in the past, you talked about some of the names you fought. Listen, you fought Danny Garcia. Yeah. You fought Terrence Crawford. So you fought some big name guys. Unfortunately, didn't come on the winning side of it. Tell us why then it will be different against Jamal Charlo. You know, I like, like, like I said, a weight had a lot to do with it. When I fought, when I fought at Terrence Crawford, you know, 47s, dude, I've been, I was fighting at 47 when I was fucking 14 years old. So then 54, you know, I, I felt a bit stronger. It, it's not that they're fucking world-class fighters, you know, the best of the best. But I feel like, you know, th at this weight, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I feel strong. And my whole life I've been, you know, I've been sparring and fighting bigger guys, you know. And I feel just uh, it's it's time for me. You know, it, it's, it's I'm, I actually feel, you know, my man's strength. And I feel like I'm actually in a great place right now. Love it. Uh, Ma, let's get into that inactivity it has been a long time since you've been in the ring do you think ring rust will be a, a detriment to you in this fight no not at all Holy tell us why 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 not i won't be rusty it don't matter i won't be rusty no excuses I got nothing else to say no excuses i hope i hope you're not uh you know, looking, thinking that I'm going to be rusty, but that's fine. Like, think think whatever you want to think. I've been training, even though y'all haven't seen me actually fight, I've been working. So, I mean, you'll see. I don't got nothing else to say. Yeah, smile, grin, do whatever you want to see. You'll see. I'm going to show you who the fucking big dog is. So. It ain't nothing, bro. You just all talk, bro. All I'm not all talk. You're the one who swearing when I see your face. Stop acting like you don't remember. I ain't never said you. I ain't, I ain't never said you. I, need a, I don't even know how you. Bro, this is my first time ever seeing you, for real. I, ain't, I don't even watch boxing. I don't even watch. I ain't even watch you fight Danny Garcia or Terrence Crawford or none of them. I'm not I talking about even, fights. I'm talking I haven't about even studied you, you at all. I don't even know how you fight. I saw you in person. That's you are. You ain't never seen me in person. Shut up, you man. You ain't never seen me in, scrub, okay. in person, you scrub. You ain't never hey, Ma, seen me. Ma, what, what, you know, one, of the, one of the things Jose asked you at the, at the very top was, why, are, why aren't you me. guys fighting at 160? Why aren't you fighting for your title? Can you respond to that? Man, I'm listening to the handlers. I'm I'm listening to what uh, the WBC is telling me. And uh, I'm going in the fight. Uh, I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. So, like, you know, I'm getting ready right now. Look, look, look at him. Look, what you worry you're starting, about? You're starting training camp. Tomorrow. I'm about to start. You been I'm about to start training camp. Yeah, I'm about to. You know, where is your advantage, right? It's like you worried about it, but I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. Yeah, you. Ain't. That's how I'm. That's how I'm looking at you. Right. I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't through no punches yet. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, it's not you, punches, you see, that's what you when you see like. it, when you see it, the when you see it, you must be whooping your ass. Yeah, okay. When you see it, you'll see it. <laughs> uh, right. is, uh, hey, Jamal, is this is this the first since it is at uh, one sixty three? Is this the first step towards eventually fighting at one sixty eight, where his brother yes, campaigns and you know Canelo, where everyone yes, thinks sir. that you'll end up? Yeah, yes, sir. This this the first step to like you know what I mean, uh, getting to the next weight class. And, I'm gonna and, use uh, I'm gonna use the little big brother with his with his little man syndrome. I'm gonna use him. Hey, I'm as big as you. I'm, I'm as big as you. you. What do you mean? You ain't near bigger than me. What, what you, you mean? I'm as big as you. I'm bigger than you. What the fuck? You will see. You start the eating the fucking big jabs big in the right hands. Okay. You will see. You will see how big you is. You will see how big you, you Jump okay. up there and get it. Jump up there and get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop your ass. You ain't gonna whoop shit. I'm gonna get your comb so you can brush your fucking nappy ass fucking hair, too. You ain't never whooped nobody. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, yeah. When you, yeah, yeah. When, Jose, right. when you when you've looked at video uh, of Jamal Charlo, what gives All you? All you see is me knocking somebody the fuck out. I don't somebody gotta look at that video. He's fucking mad. Yeah, what what gives you your you biggest confidence gotta... going into this fight, Jose? Yeah, what gives you your big? What, why are you so confident, scrub? So you gotta be confident. That's what you gotta yeah, be. You gotta be right? because it don't seem like you you're confident in your motherfucking self. You don't see how true. You don't see. He's not a boy. Okay. You know how many motherfuckers said what you said? 32 of them. They're all bums. They all bums, huh? Okay, watch. You can be one of them. Okay. Yeah. And, and what, is it, what gives you your biggest confidence, Jose? 
I just feel, you know, like I said, I, I, I've i been in a tr in a tough training camp. I've been training for a while now. You know, I've been sparring my brother. I've been sparring. We've had a lot of great, you know, big sparring partners. I'm talking about big guys that actually hit hard. And I just feel strong. I feel ready. You know, I'm, I'm motivated more than anything. Hmm. Uh, Maul, can, can you give us some insight? You know, one of the things, you know, that uh, uh, you heard uh, uh, Jose talk about it. I know you've talked about it is mental health. It, coming, can you give us some sense? Is Jamal Charlo mentally, physically back at the elite level, especially on November 25th when he gets I'm in back. the ring? I'm back. My God's grace, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Guys, we'll wrap it up with this. Jose. Yeah, I'm back. Back, Jose. Back on your ass, boy. Back uh, on your ass, you know, on my ass, baby. You never been on my wow. ass. We go exactly. We I don't even know you, but when I, when, 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 you, so you, you know who the fuck I am. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you all that shit you talking. I'm gonna show you all that shit you talking. Back my shit up. Okay. I like I it. Hope uh, so. I I I got it. 